We are in a forest on the outskirts of Berlin to check out a relic of Cold War history, the US built spy station that sits on top of an infamous mountain. The history of this mountain starts just before the Second World War. Hitler was busy planning and starting to build Germania, the new capital city for the Third Reich. This site, in the forests just outside the city center, was chosen as the building location for a brand new technical university. Building work began in 1937, however it was never completed as construction came to a halt just three years later, when all efforts were instead focused on conquering Europe. After the war, Berlin lay in ruins, and in the following years, massive cleanup and rebuilding operations were undertaken. The enormous amount of rubble from the destroyed city had to be hauled away and dumped somewhere. The abandoned Technical University served as the perfect location. There had been an attempt to demolish the complex, but it quickly became clear that the Nazis had built their stone palaces to last. This was supposed to be the Thousand Year Reich, after all. So instead, it was decided that the building would be covered with rubble and buried. The mountain starts to take shape. Over the next decades, the pile of rubble rises to a final height of 120 meters above sea level. Today, this is the second highest point in Berlin. As the Second World War turns into the Cold War, Berlin is split up between the Western Allies and the Soviet Union. The mountain falls within the British sector of the city. It's the Americans, however, that quickly realize the strategic potential of the mountain. Its high elevation, and essentially sitting on an island within the Soviet Union, makes it an ideal location for intercepting enemy radio signals. America's National Security Agency, the NSA, begins building a spy station known as Field Station Berlin. All right, we're doing our final ascent to the top. The place is weird. It's pretty amazing that all of this is just made up of rubble and crap. And then obviously they filled it with soil and started planting trees. After the Americans left in the early 90s, 92, uh, it was taken over. It was used as um, flight control 
for a few years. And then after that, when it was abandoned, basically, um, there was some attempt at a private venture. So I read something about they were trying to open a hotel or a resort. That ultimately fell through. I think there were some environmental concerns, which is pretty ironic seeing as this is a man-made mountain. But I guess nature has taken over. Here you can see the perimeter. Pretty well protected we got. One, two, three layers of fencing and some German barbed wire. Woohoo! Loud and clear. Just walking the perimeter here. Let's see if we can spot some of the the domes where the radar equipment was um, housed. Might be hard to tell, seeing as we're, it's, there's a thick forest here now. But, I mean, the hills up here are steep. I read that they actually built a ski lift here and it was in operation for a while, but it was quickly taken down because the Americans were not too happy with it. They thought the activity interfered a bit with their spy operations, which, fair enough. All right, let's climb this thing. See you at the top. Almost there. Put these nice great stairs at the at the very top. So the vertigo is kicking in nicely.
perception, ironically. I mean, it's obviously become a sort of street art gallery over the years, which is cool. Here we got a bit of a back alley.